Welcome back. In this series, I will show you how to simulate uh, vortex induced vibrations of a cylindrical structure in open form. And uh, in the previous video, I've shown uh, how to create the geometry for our structure in Salome and export to SDL. In this video, I will show you how to create the structural background mesh using the Open forms built in batch, uh, block mesh uh, generator, and uh, how to check the mesh uh, visually and using check mesh. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, see it. So this is the computational domain I want to create. So. Uh, the uh, the main sizes are in the diameters of our cylinder. It's twenty d, thirty d. It's a very big domain, but uh, in our case, uh, we don't want this big one because th this is only a demonstration and not for validation purposes. So we can save a lot of uh, computational resources. Otherwise, it will be computationally very expensive. So. How do we uh, create such domain uh, and give the names to the boundaries for the boundary conditions? So this is uh, the block mesh basics. So uh, this is a typical block in uh, uh, used in the block mesh software, and we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices for each block, generally. Uh, and uh, the block uh, may be uh, rectangular, Cartesian, or maybe uh, curved structures. Uh, we can create a lot of uh, grids, like uh, structure grids, or grid, H grids, etc. But anyway, uh, please remember this uh, uh, block uh, or orientation, and let's uh, see actually see how the block mesh will work. So this is our uh, case file and case directory, and uh, this cylinder is the STL file we created. To be used in this uh, scenario, and our block mesh dict is located in this system uh, directory, and this one is the block mesh dict. And actually, uh, we need these zero constant and system directories to run uh, an open form uh, simulation uh, successfully. And these are like the absolute requirements for our simulations, and uh, you can just copy uh, from the open form tutorials and modify each of the uh, dictionary files. Okay, let's go ahead and see our block mesh dictionary, and this is our block mesh dict. And first. Uh, we don't care about the form file. First, we care about the convert to meters. Is one so every single uh, coordinates dimensions in our block mesh will be in meters. If we want our mesh in like centimeters, we can use like zero point zero one to make it centimeters. And if we want millimeters, we can do like point zero one. But here we only use one because our simulation is in meters and these are the vertices of our block so we only have one block to be used in the simulation in, in our simulation because uh, we want to use our block mesh together with snappy hex mesh uh, which will be used to generate the uh, and structure mesh of our geometry. Okay, we, we will later talk about it. And the vertices, let's see about the vertices. So 
So these are the vertices here in uh, in our uh, x y z coordinate system. So x one you can assume x one is x x the x direction, x two is y direction, and x three is z direction. It, it's like this: minus five, minus five, minus five here, and here, and here, and here. So we have eight uh, vertices, like eight points. And we need to create a block to uh, using these eight vertices. And here in the blocks part, uh, this is how we create the blocks in block mesh state. And hex means hexahedral. Our uh, mesh will be hexahedral mesh. And these are the numbers of the vertices shown here. So it means this is zero vertex, vertex zero. This is vertex one. So th like this, etc. And this is seven. So in this order, like from top to bottom. So our uh, order will be like this. And okay. So what are these three numbers? These are the Number of elements in each direction. For x direction, we have 20 elements, and, and y direction, 10, and z direction, 10 elements. Okay. For this simple grading, it's 1, 1, 1. It means our uh, mesh is uniform. If we like uh, use it like 10, 1, 1, uh, we our mesh will be stretched in x direction. So we have. Okay, this is the number of elements in this direction, and this is the like stretch growth of the mesh. So uh, we want uh, uniform mesh, so we don't care about it, and we give. Uh, all of the directions one it means our mesh is uniform in every directions okay edges we don't care much about edges in this case because uh, if we want to use like all grids or secrets uh, we can uh, define several curves arcs in this area but we don't need to define these for now so these are the boundaries it means our these boundaries for uh, so that we can define the boundary conditions so for the sides. It so what are these numbers? Okay, let's go back to our uh, this slide, and we can define uh, each phase by using the numbers for example phase 0 1 2 3 it's like the bottom okay here here we go it's 0 3 2 1 0 3 2 1 uh, the rule of thumb is we follow a single uh, rule and just follow that uh, uh, consistently throughout the dictionary but Anyway, you can just copy uh, the whole uh, phases and just rename them as you wish. It's it's uh, easier way. Anyway, this is the basics of the block mesh. And for the inlet, we have zero four seven three block, zero four seven three block. For the outlet, we will have two six. Five one so like this like this so we need to uh, follow that direction uh, but anyway you can just use it and for the we have the sides and we have the outlets and the bottom and the top so what are the types so symmetry these are the types for the boundary conditions symmetry means 
with its symmetry boundary conditions and fit patch is used for inlets and outlets so the flow is coming in or out we can use patch and we have walls and which is like uh, non-slip walls or maybe we can even use slip walls okay so this is all about the block mesh dict so let's go ahead and run the block mesh dict the block mesh uh, my directory is in D transform tutorials from the beginning so first we will have this form clear clean tutorials which will clean up all the mesh and all the simulation date results so be, you be careful using it and we can use block mesh okay so let's go ahead and see it and I use a version 2022.06 by the way and so this is a bit old so we may not need to use it and we have our patches which means our sides inlets outlets and bottom and top and the number of cells is 2000 and we have uh, our 2541 points and our faces so we now we know that our mesh is generated so we want to have a look and we want to check it so we may use this command paraform touch uh, to create an open form uh, result file to be viewed in the para view so let's go ahead so it's our case directory name is used and the file is generated so we can use para view to uh, okay sorry we can use para view to see the result so uh, in para view you just open it and you need to find in windows you now there is no default uh, open form case viewer so we will need to find all all files and we now we have our file here so and we will need to use open form reader okay apply and now here we go we have our very first mesh which is a block mesh and in para view we can see the uh, display type as surface or wireframe so this is wireframe or we can check surface with edges so we have the like 20 elements in x direction and 10 in y direction and 10 in z direction okay so this seems good okay. but unless we can check mesh we can use uh, check mesh utility and to check the mesh is okay so if uh, the mesh check mesh fails we need to do something this is the rule of thumb okay so everything looks good so what the next step is to create the uh, mesh including our geometry we created in the previous video uh, in snappy hex so we want to make it sure our snappy hex mesh will look good so the, we need to check our cylinder stl file again whether it is inside or outside the mesh so we will uh, click the viv for beginning so our block mesh file and click wireframe so we can see in it's totally inside the block mesh so it should be the stl file should be inside the block mesh file to generate the snappy hex mesh so we are good so 
let's go ahead and change the size of our domain maybe a little bit like minus 5 to minus 6 to 6 sorry, minus 5 to 6 and 15 to 16 maybe a longer a little bit longer domain and in y direction maybe we can change a little bit okay minus mm, 6 okay I want I don't want to touch that part. okay anyway now we uh, change the coordinates of the vertices let's recreate the mesh okay clear the mesh form clean tutorials and create the block mesh okay now we created the mesh and we can check the updated mesh here by using this refresh button just remove the skip zero and refresh and apply now we have increased the size of our domain but uh, you can see the mesh is very coarse and in snappy hex mesh we may have a few problems so we will have a look later and uh, create our snappy hex mesh in the next video thanks for watching